trying to dodge people. So put my mask back on. <laughs> My two favorite New Yorkers. Yeah, she look cute. So y'all remember Nikki, right? She's moving to DC. Love you. I don't love her. She went to DC and got engaged on us. Nikki, I missed her so much. Yay, I miss you more. So now we have a wedding. I just bought a dress. She just bought a dress. She said yes to the dress and kind of said yes to Like, it. just bought it. And was yes. like, okay. <laughs> but that's usually her, though. <laughs> She's already vlogging. Isn't she so cute? I love it. <laughs> it's feet on, baby. See, first of all, I want to tell you what a blessing you are. Don't know how we got this far. I thank God. And I know this. I think we said yes to the trial. Uh, uh. Here today, I'm actually on my way to go get a COVID test done because in order for me to get to France, I am packing to move abroad, moving to Paris. I am excited, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm everything. I need to have proof that I have had a COVID test. Here's the caveat. Your test has to be taken within 72 hours before you board the plane. Originally, I was supposed to be leaving my for my flight on Monday, but because the visa is taking so long to process, I still don't have my visa or my passport back, but I'm still gonna get the COVID test done because the results can take anywhere from five to 14 days to get back to you which i are completely irrelevant if you do have covid because but whatever so i'm on my way there i'm going to get a second test done on saturday because again both of these tests say that they're not going to be able to give me results back for five business days um which is kind of past the mark of the 72 hours that i need to fly out but we're going to do it and hope for the best we're going to uh, figure it out like honestly this whole process has been um confusing and frustrating but I'm almost there all right guys so I am back from my COVID test honestly that took like two seconds literally they checked me in after they checked me in the guy did like my temperature and then two q-tips in each nose for like 15 seconds each and it was done the only thing I'm a little concerned about is Although I said, and the girl on the phone said it would take three to five business days to get results. There they were like, oh, it's going to take seven to 10 business days, which, yeah, that's no bueno. But anyway, so I'm back home and I'm super excited for two reasons. One, I think I showed you guys my sweatshirt, but I did um, a collab with the Mayfair group which is an online and the creative label. They partner with creative label to do a collection of sweatshirts that have all of these different black artists involved. I think there's five of us. Um, your girl designed this graphic right here. Um, and all of the proceeds from this sweatsuit outfit actually go to a um, hundred coalition of a hundred, uh, the coalition of a hundred black women, as well as um, color of change. So there's a sweatsuit pan, there's some art there. Here's all of our signatures that participated as well as just artwork. Super dope, super cool. Um, Black Lives Matter and then the back. Oh, the back is fun as you can see. Bags are packed. Honestly, I have unpacked and repacked these bags so many times. I did order this backpack for all my photography gear from Wondered. I watched a couple of reviews on this bag and I decided that it was perfect for me. Um, I'll link my favorite reviews of this bag, but what really sold me was actually this situation here where you can be wearing these straps and then you bought these separate accessory straps and you have access to literally everything in your bag. Um, I didn't buy the the cube the packing cube that they had for the photography because it was like another $60 I literally got this one off Amazon for like 15 and it fit perfect and gave me space to add my tethering cord to like my camera gears in here um and then this gives me access to like this part of the bag and this part of the bag I will link the people who made me buy this bag 
um because it's just super dope but the issue is this bag is full with all my electronics and camera gear right this suitcase pretty much has the majority of my clothes in it and my shoes this suitcase is the one is my carry-on so i'm only taking these two suitcases and my book bag this suitcase and this bag are honestly just sitting here so that when it's time for me to be like done done i'll just pack up all my stuff and put it over our garage but these are my like everyday products for my hair and my makeup they have to go into my carry-on i have like no space and these bags are so heavy so i think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up mailing myself this box, which is what the book bag just came in, um, to France because I have like school supplies. I don't need this book bag, but there are like some things that I need, like my reflector. And then what's really the problem are these super behind negative binder boxes. I actually have three of these and I need them for school. They like specifically requested these and they just do not fit in my bag. So I'm probably going to have to mail the reflector, that binder box, and then my friend actually bought this off my Amazon list, which is a negative read scan. I'm probably going to mail myself that, plus these books, and um, probably put it all inside that bag. And my sister's picking me up because we're doing something special. So I'll try to vlog that as well. Yeah. Yeah. What are you getting done today? Big sis, cause you know I'm the best big sis out here. Awesome. Yeah. 